Shopify buy button customization tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can customize the buy button into your Shopify store. It is very easy and also very limited. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The concept here on the buy buttons of Shopify is very limited. If you are or you know how to code, it will be very easy for you. But in my case and uh, the in your case, if you don't know how to code or on how you can make some buttons by coding on HTML, CSS and etc, you are going to face some uh, limitations. So right here, you need to sign in into your Shopify account. As you can see here, we have our account and we are facing right here the admin dashboard. Now, all we need to do is to head over right here at the online store. Before adding or getting to the online store, make sure to put your products in case that you are going to make sure that everything is going to work well. So here without a, um, let's say without a product, you can not do anything with the buy now button. So. Right now we are going to visit the online store. We are going to select the themes. Then we are going to customize our current theme or the theme that you are going to make some um, tryings to modify these buttons. So we are going to click on customize because here uh, the down is our current theme. As you can see here, we have opened the theme editor or the Shopify theme editor. We have the products, we have etc. everything. So let's say that we are going to select any of these products. I'm going to select this product. Then as you can see here, we have the title, the quantity, the price description below here. We have some trust badges that I have installed, which is a integration, of course. And here we have the button. We have the dynamic button and we have the uh, buy button. So for the dynamic buttons, you can go ahead and add it right away. So you can see here that we are going to click on the uh, gear icon. Then when you go ahead right here to select, for example, the buy button, you are going to see here show dynamic checkout buttons. This is the dynamic one. So here. If you disable this dynamic button, you're going to see that it will be going. So I'm going to save. Then we are going to see that we have only add to cart. And if we want to show this button and the dynamic button, we're going to see it right away. So as you can see here, we have the transition. So we have the buy now button and the dynamic button. So right here, on the uh, buttons, we are going to get the uh, option to uh, customize them by the color, the size of them, the uh, as you can see here, uh, the type of the typography that they contain, and this is it. For example, if I want to change the color of these buttons, we are going to click on the gear icon right here. Then we are going to select the color. Here we have some color schemes and obviously here we have the black and white. So this is our color scheme. When you click on it, you're going to see here the scheme of the colors. So we have the background, background gradient, text, solid button, background. As you can see here, we have the solid button background. This is the background. When you are going to click on it, then we are going to change the color, for example, to th something like this and boom, here we have changed the button color, but not only the buy now button or add to cart, but all of the buttons on Shopify. For example, you have any type of button, for example, this one review on Amazon or I don't know, a uh, type of buttons, we are going to get it here as the same color as this because all the buttons are linked to each other. For example, I'm going to put it here, this gray. So now this is for the solid button background. Now for the solid button label, which is the text right there, you are going to 
see here what color that you are going to put for example here we have this one i have put uh, this blue or you can uh, put it as standard and white so that was uh, for uh, the um, buttons or the background of the buttons for example you can uh, go ahead and modify the uh, outline button here we have the add to cart we have an outline of uh, uh, dark uh, here outline so i'm going to click on blue and as you can see it has changed to blue so we are going to put it red because it is more appearing so here we have it red now i'm going to let it uh gray so i like it gray like this boom here we have it now let's go ahead and modify something else the color is easy now let's go ahead and change the typography Generally, right here, you are going to change the typography of all of the uh, websites. So, if you want to change the font size scale, you are going to put it here. We have the body, we have the fonts, and etc. Now, I'm not going to change the typography, but I'm going to select buttons. The buttons right here are the parameters of all the buttons in the website or the store. We have the thickness or thickness. We have the opacity, corner radius. We have the opacity for the shadows. Here are horizontal offset, vertical offset, blur, and etc. So let's go ahead and play a little bit with the borders and the shadow. For the thickness, if I want to uh, here augment or increase the thickness, I'm going simply to put it here upgraded to 3 pixel. So we are going to see here the borders. Let's go ahead and put it to six. Maybe this is going to be uh, something that can be visible. Here we have it. So the outline here or the borders are put as thick as possible. For the opacity, let's go ahead right here and reduce it to 60% and see what is the result. So right here, we are going to decrease it to 15 and see. So we are going to see right here the uh, borders are the increasing or reducing the opacity. So we are going to let it here 100. For the corner radius, we are going to put it 18 pixel and see what it would change. Oh, so the shape of the button has been changed. So we are going to put it at 28, for example. And this is very interesting. Do we have more circular or buttony buttons? Not um, some square ones. Here we have the opacity of the shadows. We are going to put here, for example, an outline or shadows. Here we have a made an outline like a shadow. So we have it like this. I'm going to put it only 10% and see that it will be uh, much aesthetic. We have the horizontal offset. I'm going to put it six and see what uh, a result we will have. Here, uh, this is for the horizontal offset of the shadow. It has been set to the uh, right side, as you can see. Let's go ahead and put it here to the left side and see. So we have had here the shadow to the left side. So we are going to put it here a little bit to the right. We have the vertical offset. offset. I mean, here we have the vertical. We have here, for example, here uh, the upper version, the slower version or the lower version like this. I'm going to put it back to four. We have the vertical offset, we have the blur. So we are going to increase the blur by five. So we are going to see here something more blurry. I want to see how it will look. So this is for the shadows. They are fully blurred. So we are going to reduce that. And it will be setting them more appearing. And that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. I hope to see you soon on the next.